of an eventful and stressful start to the morning. I think that's my first ever proper little beach launch but good morning everyone and thank you for joining me on yet another one of my little fishing adventures as you can tell we are offshore we are offshore kayak fishing and I'm extremely extremely excited we just got out here and we've already got a couple live baits on the way out so we're ready to get straight into the fishing drop a livey down cast some lures and make a day of it it's not every day you get to get out offshore on the kayak especially on the little Hobie where the windows are very very small but you can see that sun is just on the way up right now, so it is the perfect time to get into some fishing. I reckon I'm just gonna go over to this little bommy over here, drop a livey down, and then we'll just get into the morning's fishing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There are whales everywhere, so hopefully they don't try and say g'day. I can see whales there. I can see whales over there. There are whales all around us. Hopefully they don't bother us. Man, oh man, it's shaping up to be one of those special, special mornings. I reckon we're in for a good day, no matter what the fishing does, when you're out here on a day like this, it's a good day. Ow. All right. I reckon we're going to start out around here, just going to get the livey out straight away. Also brought out some squid, which I caught in Victoria, so we have that as well as a backup, but first up we'll get a livey down. Alright, that's him. Beautiful little live yakka going down. So we have a twin hook set up there obviously, one through the nose, one through the back. And we'll just lower him down to the bottom. See ya buddy. Whoa! Already? Did he get eaten on the way down or something? We got something already. That is ridiculous. That... Oh! Busted me off. Whoa. What just happened there? We'll get a cast out there with the squid lure. What was that? Are you serious? We just dropped that down and I just got smoked. That was on 60 pound liter as well. Oh, look at those whales. Right there. There we go. That's another good fish. That was the next cast. First cast with a little lure. And we've got something. Oh, feels good too. Yep. It's good. Wow. That is wild. Oh, he just got off. No. That was a grouse fish as well. What is going on? Oh, we've just got out here, everyone. And two smokings already. Two great big fish. I'm kind of wishing I brought more live. He's only got two in the shallow stuff and I haven't seen him ever since. But we're going to rig the other one up and just get him straight down. That was an instantaneous just gone. Look mate, I don't know what's down there but I'm sorry for this. You're probably going to be gone. I'm just going to clip him through the nose like that. Not even going to put a bait on the other hook because I don't want to risk two fish grabbing it and then busting him off. Alright, next live he's going down. Let's just try land one, eh? Let's just try and get one in the boat. Oh, there's a lot of fish down there. Cast with the lure again. Oh, he just got hit. Jeez. Yep. Oh boy. Oh my god. What is that? Oh, tangled in the camera. Man, that's a good fish. That only just got out there, eh? Oh, boy, oh boy. Well, it's fair to say that we are on. <laughs> We've only got two liveys to use. This is the second one, and it's been eaten. Oh, we're on the bottom on that one. And it's been eaten already. This is ridiculous. We've just gotten out here, man. Two liveys, two fish. That one snagged. That's really good going. See if we can get him up, get a look at whatever this is. Might be a big snapper or something maybe. At least this one didn't get me into the reef. The big snapper. Wow. <laughs> wow. It is a big snapper. Oh, that took about a minute. The other one no doubt would have been a big snapper too probably. That is just next level ridiculous. That is a big snapper as well. Oh, it looks like his swim batter's a bit blown. We've got him in. 
Man, what a way to start the day. Dropped two live baits down and they both got crunched by Big Snapper. Take a look at that. You can see it's a male from that big bump on the head. That is a gorgeous looking fish. That's an epic fish. I'm stoked with that. We also have one on the lure as well. So three casts, three drops, three fish. That is just as good as it gets, especially compared to my last trip offshore. It was a lot quieter. Definitely didn't start off like this. This is a good way to start. I think we might actually keep this fish. His swim blood is blown and I don't think he would do very well if I let him go. So I'm gonna keep this one. Time to get out some of the fresh squid. Don't have any liveies, so gonna have to make do with what we got maybe. These are the hooks I'm using, the 70 BKK circles. Just pinning that squid ring right through the top, making sure I have plenty of hook exposure, so that's perfect. We'll get those two down. Two fresh squid rings ready to be deployed down to the depths. If there's any more of those big reds around, definitely wanna try and get one of those. They're just so much fun, big snapper, so much fun. All right, it's down on the bottom. Give it one bounce. Wind it up a little bit, and that'll do us. Alright, next cast. See if we can find another one. I really want to try to get one on this lure. Caught a couple of red rock cod on it so far. Not the desired species. There we go. Well, it's another red rock cod, I think. Red Rockies are loving it, that's for sure. We're getting a bite. There we go. That's a better fish. Yep. Yep. I think that's another snapper. Yes. Hooked up on the little squid once again. Yep. That definitely feels better than that rock cod, that's for sure. A little bit better fish right here on the squid lure. Let's see if we can... Oh. <laughs> I don't think he's really used any of his energy yet. Let's see if we can get him up. There he goes. Nice. Drifting over this one bit of reef. Pretty much the first spot we've dropped into today is having fish. See if we can get a look. Nice, he's a good little snapper. A little bit smaller than that first one, that's for sure, but we'll take him. Take a look at that, really nice little red on the squid lure. We dropped a much bigger one earlier on it, so they're definitely eating it. Do another drift. Every time I get a fish, I'm actually going back over the same line and drifting a similar ground. So we'll drop the pad and Oster back down. A little bit quiet on the squid front. Squid's definitely not getting as much attention as what those yakas did. The yakas lasted about 30 seconds each. We'll leave the squid down for now. Out you get. That's a really good fish. Really good fish. That grabbed the squid. Whoa. That is really big. That is a really big fish. That grabbed the squid, whatever this is. And this is big. This has really big head shakes too. I don't know if that's a snapper. Boy oh boy, we are on once again. Whatever it is has massive, massive head shakes. Oh, I think it's just a ridiculous snapper. It is. It's just a ridiculously sized snapper. Look at that. Well, our question's answered if the squid works. Certainly does. That is a very, very big snapper. <laughs> it would be up around that 80 mark easily. That is a beast. Really big knobber. <laughs> That's a giant. That one right there is definitely bigger than that first fish as well. What an epic looking fish. They look so cool when they get those massive bumps on their schnoz. <laughs> oh, the second beast. That one was on the Victorian squid. So we proved that the Victorian squid works. I had no doubt it would. And it's produced a beast. Just take a look at the head on him. The head on these fish is just so, so cool. So cool. We'll take that, we'll let him go. All right, big buddy, we'll see if he goes. I'm gonna keep a key on, keen eye on him, but he looks like he might go, eh? Push him down, see if he goes. Oh, I'm watching him, watching him. Man, he went straight down. 
hopefully he is all good to go and is down there and can continue spawning that's what they're here to do on these shallow reefs they're here to spawn so ideally i want to let these fish go but if they're burst and they're too sick to release i'll keep a couple for a feed anyway it's good to see the squid is still working on those big fish look at that just pinning it through the top leaving plenty of hook exposure and that bottom bait's actually still good so we'll get that back down as well Early morning is the best time for these snapper as well, so the next couple of hours are our pretty much best shot at getting some real big snapper over these shallow reefs. It's funny, as soon as that sun gets too high up in the air, they're just like, nope, 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 nope. Nice, all good to go. Chuck that back in the holder. The reef's right in front of me here, so get another cast back out over the reef. Yep, another rock cut, I think. Hi ho, hi ho, off for an explore we go. Just pedaling up here, just looking for some new good ground, hopefully some bait as well. That wind's actually picked up a fair bit though. It's probably blowing at least 10 knots from the land, but at least it's blowing from the land, so it's not a bad wind direction at all. Okay, let's do our first drop out here in the deep. I've got to keep an eye on these whales though. I don't really want to be squished by a whale. Let's see what's down there. Very deep. Let's get the squid down as well. Oh, on the way down. Yep, that's a good fish. On the way down, they got grabbed. Wow, that was really cool. First cast out here in the deep water. And we got something. Definitely not a rock cod, that one. Grabbed it on the drop. That was sick. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Feels like a little snapper. It's got those snappery head shakes to it. That's for sure. There he is, there's a bit of colour. Let's see what he is. It's a nice little snapper. There he is. Nice little fish. First cast out here as well. Jeez. Something grabbed that. Something grabbed that. Oh. We got something else. Look at that. That was on the squid. That's a good fish. It's definitely a good fish. I think we're going to keep that little fella anyway, so we'll just deal with this. Damn, out here in the deep, and we've got two hookups straight away. Should have came out here earlier. Oh, got those classic head shakes. See what he is though. You just never know out here. It's like a lucky dip. You never know. I think it's a nice snapper. It is. Oh, damn, that's a nice snapper. Okay, look at that. Beautiful beautiful little fish on that squid tracks and there's a much bigger one sitting in the holder over there we'll try get him on his way okay we'll see if he goes his swim bladder's not blown i think he's gone yeah he took off if you are going to keep a fish to eat that's a really good size one okay oh more whales right there Dude, the amount of whales out here is nuts but that's a beautiful beautiful little snapper once again i think this is going to be the second one which we keep it's been an amazing day out here offshore on the snapper really good going but this guy came out of deep water and i don't really want to let him go i think he's gonna perish his swim bladder was very blown well it's fair to say it was worth having to go in the deep two fresh squid baits going down go get them boys on the bottom give it a couple bounces up just so it doesn't get caught in the reef Next cast. Let's see what happens this time. Yep. Oh, it's another good fish. On the way down once again. That's a good fish. That's much better. Yep. That's a better snapper. Literally the cast after we caught that little one and that big one on the bait. We've got another on the lure. Feels like a good fish as well. Come here. It's definitely going to be a bit better quality fish. Feels a lot heavier than that last one. Oh. There goes the other one. This is nuts, eh? Oh. oh, there's that one fish we got. He's a nice little fish. Yep. We'll have to get a look at this one. Leave that other one in the holder. Wow, this is insane. Whew, the deep is the place to be. Man, the fish are just going off. 
this one feels better as well. The bait seems to be getting the slightly better quality fish, although that one there is a real nice one. I'm not complaining with that at all. Oh, don't break that rod, mate. Here he comes. That's another real good fish too. Look at that. Oh boy. All their swim bladder's blown. I might have to stop fishing here, eh? I think I'm done. We'll deal with the little fella first, eh? This little fella here is not a bad fish by any means at all. Take a look at that lure. Pinned him right in the face there. That's another beautiful fish. Really good to see. Good to see a healthy reef system. Okay. Go on, buddy. Go down. Oh, that one went. It's another big fish. Let's get a look at this fella. It's another absolute beast of a snapper. Take a look at that. Big bump on its head. It's probably another male once again. It's just a beautiful looking fish. I wish, I wish we were fishing in shallower water and we could let them go, but unfortunately the fish just aren't in the shallows. They're out deep. Oh, it's a great fish once again. I'm going to try give him a release and just see how he goes. Let's see how he goes. A great looking fish. He's not going belly up. Whoa, there he goes. Fingers crossed for mate, fingers crossed. We, he has a much better shot out there than in the kayak, that's for sure. I've already kept the two fish. Don't really need more than two snapper, although we might keep one more if they're you know, in a bad way, but let's go back over for another drop. It's back down there. Third cast, third cast with the old squid lure. Let's see if we can go three for three. It's been on, 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 on. That's a good fish. Yep, that's a great fish. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's a bigger one. Yes, that is a bigger one. Wow, the technique. I was just going doof, 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 and then bang, he clunked it. Oh, that's a much better fish. That's a much better one. Yes. Oh, see if we can get him off the bottom. There's a lot of reef, a lot of structure down there. We don't want him to get back into that. Much better head shakes. Oh yeah, look at that much much better that's the one we were looking for on the lure let's see if we can oh, get him up what a day we've had out here on the water pretty much been catching the whole morning getting him on bait getting him on lures it's just been one of those days where everything's going right fish are just biting real good fish on the lure yes we'll take that it's going a little bit overcast all of a sudden but take a look at that once again we've got another snapper on the lure. You can see it's pinned him right on the edge of the lip there. He was only just lightly hooked, but we finessed him up and got him in. That's a really nice one on the lure. It's probably the best one for the day on the lure, I think. So that's good, good going. All right, we might keep this little one. He's a good eater. What a day, what a day we have had offshore kayak fishing. It's been an absolute blast. Caught a whole heap of good fish on bait and also on lures as well. So, oh boy. Those beach launches never get any less nerve-wracking. <laughs> Sending the kayak offshore with all the camera gear on is such a mission, but we've made it out offshore this morning, and thank you for joining me on yet another one of my little fishing adventures. Super, super keen to get out here. Every time you can get offshore on the kayak, it's a good day, and the weather's meant to be absolutely perfect as well. No swell, very minimal wind, and hopefully a lot of fish to be caught. So we've got a big day planned. I'm actually gonna start off in the shallows targeting some live bait. I've really struggled to find and catch live bait recently. So I'm hoping out here in the shallow water, we can get some and then we're gonna move out to the deep stuff. Drop those liveys down and see what we can catch. It's a bit of fun, but I'm just now prospecting over the ground, looking for some bait fish. So far, no luck, but as soon as I find them, I've got a sabiki rig tied up behind me, ready to go. And we're gonna drop it straight into the bait schools. Hopefully get some yakkers or slimies or whatever else. Come on, bait. Okay, there's a whole heap of bait down there. Surely there's some yakkers. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. That's better. That's better. That's some better bait. That's what we want. Just dropped it right into the school. They've got to be yakkers or something. I think we got some bait. Yes, we do. We got three yakkers. We'll take that. It's going to try to load up first up. Good. Three yakkers to start off with. 
go back over that school, see if there's any more. There they are. That's a lot of bait right there. Come on. There we go. Yep. Finally starting to get a couple. How many have we got here? Two good ones? Oh, yes. These are little lollipops for offshore fish. We love to see some bait and there's a lot more on the sound of right now. This is what we like to see. A couple of liveies. Whole bunch of liveies in there. I think we might start heading out now maybe. You can see heaps of whales in front of me. They're probably the scariest thing out here, the whales. There's so many whales and they jump, cause a commotion. If one jumps near the kayak, it's all over, but hopefully that doesn't happen. I don't think a morning gets much better than this offshore. Take a look at it. Glorious, glorious morning. I was just pedaling out and I came over a really, really good couple of archers on the way out. So I thought I might as well pull up here, drop down a couple of liveys right on those big fish, which I just sounded up. First rig we've got here is the old faithful Paternoster. I'm sorry about this, Mr. Yakka. You're going down first. Beautiful little yakker. I'm just going to pin him right through the nose there. It's always a really good way to pin yakkers right through the nose. He'll sit down there wafting away in the current. So we have one yakker on the top, one yakker on the bottom, double live yakker rig. Since I've got a few liveys, I might as well send them down. We'll just have a go here for a little bit, see if the liveys get taken. Whew, keen, keen to get into it. Last time I was out here, as soon as the bait hit the bottom, bang, I was on. So if it's like that again, it's going to be pretty interesting. Well, while we're waiting, we might as well have a few casts with this little lure here. So we're going to start off with a little squid trex. Just have a couple casts, sink that all the way down and see what happens. Hopefully there's some fish nearby drifting over some good area so we should drift over some fish sooner or later all these baits will be destroyed i think yep all those baits got destroyed we'll do one more drop with the two liveys and then i think we'll switch it up a little bit get out some squid yeah, there's a lot of whales jumping i can hear them there's fish right there probably bonito i'm guessing look at them all heaps of bonito Oh, there it goes, there it goes, yep, there goes the livey, <sighs> didn't take too long, oh boy, a bit awkward, got rods going everywhere, there we go, got rods going absolutely everywhere, that didn't take too long at all, what was that fourth livey down for the morning? We've already got a good fish. I think he might have tangled that other rod. Might just have to run one of the liveys, I think. This feels like a good fish. He just buckled over with it as well. When a big fish grabs it, they do not mess around. They just take off and take line. This feels really, really good, whatever it is. <laughs> Definitely feels big. Wonder what it is. It's kind of just done a little bit of a run at the start. Now he's coming up like a bit of a dead weight. <laughs> bit of an interesting fight. Oh, there he is. I think it's a good snapper. Yep, look at that. Really good little snapper. He has blown his bladder though. That's not good. It's a nice little male one. Beautiful little way to start the day. You can see that's definitely a male starting to get that little bump on his head already. He is a very nice specimen. Really good eating size fish. I think we'll take this one home to eat. He's a beautiful size. Awesome. You can see those two hooks have got him. So he was not going anywhere. Came out of deep water as well. So he was... Uh, his swim bladder was blown and he's a good one to keep to eat. He is definitely a nice little way to start the day. We'll get those hooks out and get another livey down. Bit of a new plan. I'm just going to run the one live bait rod because two is a little bit too much at the moment. I want to cast around a lure as well and if I'm dealing with two live bait rods it gets a bit hectic. We'll get that little yakker out again. Alright little yakker, get you down once again. Let's get another cast out the beautiful little squid see if there's anything else out there to offer so we definitely know the snapper in the area and it just goes to show you that those smaller snapper will still smash a bigger live bait like that's a pretty big bait for a little snapper like that but they're not fast they're just gutsy as yep on the way down something grabbed it i don't know how big that is but oh it's definitely decent it's definitely decent yep on the way down Yep. Oh, that's a good fish. He grabbed that 
as it was sinking through the water column, which is very common with snapper and other species like that. Hadn't even hit the bottom yet. And this fella has grabbed the squid. Oh, feels good too. Definitely feels good. I don't think he's really used any of his energy yet. I think it's gonna be a crate. There he goes. There he goes. I knew he hadn't used any of his energy yet. This is gonna be a good one. Yeah. Big fish. Big fish on the little squid. Oh, look at those head shakes. Really nice head shakes. This might be another snapper. We gotta keep this big rod away. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, there is a fair bit of weight to this fella. Look at that. He's actually bigger than what I thought, I think. Yep, big. When those little squids are just falling through the water column like that, a big predator that just can't resist. Big snapper, big pearlies, whatever's in the area, if they see it. Oh, I think that other rod might, oh no, it was the fish. <laughs> that was the fish on the deck that scared me. Can we see him down there? No, can't see any color yet, but there is a fair bit of weight to this fish. There he is there. What are you, huh? Oh, wait, is that a pearly? Oh, I think it's a pearly. I think it's a pearly. It's a massive pearly. Yes! Yes! It's a massive pearly. Yes, it's a beast. That's exactly what I wanted to come out here and catch. My whole goal going offshore on these trips was to try and catch a pearl perch. I've never caught one before. That is my first ever pearly. I could see him coming up and I was like, that doesn't look exactly like a snapper. That looks a bit different. It's a monster pearly, yes. Oh, that is so sick. That is so sick. Look at him. That is a nugget. That is a nugget. I wonder if they have teeth, eh? That's so epic. This is actually why, this fish right here is why I came out to the deeper water. I knew in those shallower reefs, I probably would have caught a lot of snapper, but I was hoping pushing out a bit deeper, I might have ran into one of these fellas. One of these fellas. <sighs> Boy, are you guys ready? I'm so stoked to be holding this fish. So stoked. Take a look at that. That is just a behemoth of a fish. <laughs> My first ever pearl perch. And that thing is a beast. Take a look at the squid. Pinned him right on the nose there. That thing is like a little dream fish for me. It's been something I've wanted to catch for so, so long and to finally get one. Oh, I'm just so excited, eh? So excited to get one, especially out here on the yak. And it's not like people have gave me marks out here to try. I just come out here, find my own little spots and to get a fish like that's so sick. I'm so happy. First ever big pearly. Oh, bucket mouth and a half. It's like an estuary perch on steroids, this thing. Oh, dude, that's massive. It's way bigger than that snapper too. <laughs> get the sunnies on and then first thing I want to do is go straight back over and do that drift again. If there's more pearlies in the area, I would love to have the pleasure of catching more of them, but I'm stoked with that one. That one big pearly has just made my month. That's how good that is for me. That's just as good as it gets. All right, little buddy, you are going down into a big pearly's mouth. See you later. I'm just gonna quickly retire this leader. It is a little bit chafed up, so I'd rather be safe than sorry. Don't wanna lose a big fish because I didn't retire. <sighs> and a big pearly like that, I imagine he would try to get you in the reef as well at some stage. I put the pattern Oster rig away just so I could focus on using the lure and it paid off. Paid off big time. Next cast after that pearly. Don't think we'll be topping that. <laughs> We got something little, it might be a little rock cod. There's a lot of red rock cod out here, but we haven't got one today yet. Oh, I think that's a gurnet, not our rock cod friend. Back out you go, Squidward. There we go. Oh, that got off. Something just ate that. The other one, oh, the other one got off too. We got something on here. Yep. Something grab one of the baits. I was just about to pack up as well, so this is the last 
second fish, proper last second fish. It's got some good head shakes, whatever it is. Going sideways a little bit now. See what he is. Is that a shark? It could be a shark. It is. That's not what we wanted. If I wasn't using circle hooks, this fella would probably bite me off, but oh, he's wrapped himself up too. Little reef shark. Little shark, do 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 do, little shark. Well, that's gonna be the last fish on the little bait rod. Not exactly sure what kind of shark that is, but still pretty cool, I guess. Don't catch many of these fellas back in Vic. Get different type of sharks, but see you, buddy. Is he a bronzy? Are you a baby bronzy or a little black tip? I don't know. All right, this wind is slowly starting to increase and I don't really want to overstay my welcome and get caught out in a strong wind. So I'm going to slowly start to head back in, but what we're going to do is actually troll some hard body lures over the shallow reefs. So we'll give that a crack. Oh, you see that? I've got to get out of the way. <laughs> oh. Holy! What? Pretty spectacular stuff. A little bit spooky when I'm out here on a plastic kayak. Oh boy. First lure tied on, so we're gonna get two hard bodies out. This is the first one. This is actually a slightly smaller one. And then I've got a bigger one here, which we'll get on the slightly heavier combo as well. Just try something different on the way in. I can't really pedal that quick on the kayak anyway, so it's probably the perfect trolling speed what I'm pedaling at. There goes the first one. There goes the second one. We'll have them out a fair way behind the kayak just so they can dive fairly deep to where they're meant to. Oh, we got something. I think we got something. What did it get off? Might have got off. Oh no, I still think it's on there. We got something on the troll. It's just a big, big gurnet. <laughs> There he goes. Oh, we've drifted back over our other lure. Well, with the hard body lure fishing done, that is going to be me wrapping today's video up. Very, very slow days fishing in reality. We only caught that one good snapper, but we caught that one monster pearly. So for me, that's just made the whole trip worth it. Don't care that we didn't catch anything else. We caught a monster pearly, had a bit of fun, caught some other stuff as well, but good day out in the end. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video. You can see this morning that we are already out fishing and we're fishing offshore. So that's why I've got out here so early. My plan is to quickly try and snag some live baits, get a few of those. And then we are fishing for big fish, big snapper, hopefully a big dewy. Still haven't ticked the big dewy off on this trip yet. So fingers, everything crossed for a big dewy, but either way, it is just really nice to be back out here and to be able to offshore kayak. Again, we've had some really, really bad weather up here. so. This is a treat. It's going to be low swell, medium winds, good enough to get out here. So that's what we're doing. Ooh, there's more. More right below me right now. More yakas. They're thick right here. There we go. Landed on one's head. Oh, it got off. Yep, got some. I've got one at least. Yep, little yakka. Perfect. Still more down there. Geez, they're spiky little things. Oh, there we go. Got more. We have found the bait. It's a good one. Get back down where well, we found the bait. That is the first piece of the puzzle around here. Yep, on straight away. Yes, get that straight back down. When the yakas are going like this, you just want to go quick fire. Try to get as many as you can. I think we got a couple here. Two more yakas. All right, I reckon we'll put this one straight on the live bait rod. Well, it's only about five, six meters deep, but I'm actually gonna get one of these yakas which we just caught out already. Get a live bait out while we drift to the deeper water. You never know what we could pick up. So this is what we're running. Twin 7.0 suicide hooks. Big sinker up here. Bit of a different live bait rig to last time. So hopefully this is more productive. We got that little live yakka, obviously ball sinker there. And we're just gonna drop him down. Take a look at the sounder. It is lit up with bait. So there definitely could be predatory fish hanging around this bait. We're also coming up to a nice little contour ledge. so. We might as well just float him over that ledge and see if there's any big fish. Okay, he's on the bottom there, so we're going to do a couple of winds up and then set that drag fairly stiff. Now the question is, do we want to rig up the bait rod? 
I did bring another rod to try and catch some tuskies and smaller fish. What do we do just want to get the plastics rod out and start fishing with some big plastics. So we've got a seven inch jerk shad right here, rigged up on a nice jig head, and that looks like a snap of candy to me. So see if there's any around. Only fishing shallow, but we're gonna drift over deep. So see if we can have some success. Last trip out here, I caught a big snapper and a tusk fish. So really epic trip and I'm excited for this one as well. We've got some yakkers on board. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten yakkers. Well, I did not think I caught ten yakkers, but we've got ten yakkers. Be cool if that live he screams off. So far, no niblets. I just had a little hit on the plastic, but nothing outstanding yet. Let's get another bait rod down. Running two rods directly under me could be a silly idea, but we've got two yakka fillets and we're just gonna bottom bash that right below us. Hopefully we come up trumps with a good snapper or good tusky. Three rods all running for different fish. Oh, got something, something on the PC yakka. Look at that, decent little fish on the PC yakka. Oh yes, what are you gonna be mate? Wonder how that live is going. Ooh, that feels good. That feels really good. Oh, what are you gonna be? Is that another tusky? Or is that a snapper? It's a snapper. Yeah, we got a snapper. Only a little papa one, but should just be able to lift him in like that. Bang, beautiful little fish. Oh yes, let's get a look at this fish. You can see that circle hook was pinned him right in the corner of the jaw. And that is a cracker. That is a really, really nice first fish of the day on the Paternoster rig. This is actually a Reedy's rig, a fellow Victorian fisho, so really cool to get that. <laughs> Take a look at the colors on that fish. Beautiful little pinky, he's a really good eater. Let's get that rig back down, topped it up with half of a yakka and a little fillet down the bottom, so drop that back down. Good start, good start to the morning. We've already ticked off the one pinky. Back down to the bottom, cool. Back in the holder. Get a cast back out with the placky. Oh, the rod's getting hit. I think it's on. Yeah, is it? Yeah, we got it. I think it's a little bit smaller. Whatever it is. Rock cod. Ah, red rock cod. Not our target. We need a break. Ooh. Holy shit. Well, he's on. Livey's on. Whoa. Livey just got smashed. Livey just got smashed. In the middle of nowhere, man. Where? Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, I was just saying, I literally just said, I need a break. Because <laughs> I was getting seasick. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh. Big fish. Oh. I think this is a Jew, man. I think this is a Jew, big, big head shakes. Big head shakes. Oh, we've hooked up to a good fish here, guys. Live yakka, just got destroyed. Oh, look at the run on that thing. This is big. Please stay connected. Oh, that other rod's still down. Oh, oh, the other rod's, the other rod's on too. We've got a double on something. We've got a double. Oh, this is the fish we really want though. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's gone in to the reef, that other one. It's a Jew. It's a good Jew. Or is that a snapper? Oh my, it's a snapper. Holy. What? Oh no! Oh no! We've just f***ed ourselves! We've just f***ed ourselves! We've just f***ed ourselves! Oh my god! Oh! We got it, we got it. How did we get that fish in? A snapper smashed that live yakka and we had another one on. 
I wonder if this guy's still on. Oh, he's still on there. Oh, how did we get that fish? Did you guys see that? I hooked the net and somehow I still got him in. Okay, what do I need to do with this one is pedal to the other side of the reef and try and get him out. Can't believe I got that fish. He's still on there. Come on, swim out. Swim out. Oh, wait. Did we get it out? We got it. Oh, the line's gonna be frayed up big time, but we got it out. We need to be real careful here. Loose drag. We got the other fish out. Oh, what is going on? That is a snapper too, for sure. There he is. It is too. Literally another snapper. He went straight for the reef, that guy. How did we not get done? It's all frayed up. We might let him go. We might let this one go. A little knobber. A little knobber. Really nice little fish. We're gonna let this one go. It's a male, obviously. You can tell by the knob. I can't believe we got him out of that reef, eh? Go on. Go on, buddy. There he goes. Yes, he powered off. Dude, the fish in the net is an absolute monster truck. 100% thought we were gonna lose that fish. You guys saw my net was stuck up there and I had one hook in the net. That is worst case scenario. And somehow I still maguired him in. Still, f that is a big snapper. That's bigger. Wow. That's bigger than the one we got the other day. That is an absolute donkey of a snapper. <laughs> that is so big on a live yakker. Oh, it is huge and very, very heavy. <laughs> Look at that. What a fish. How epic is that? And my other live yakka just got destroyed as well, got cut in half. Man, I'm so happy with that. What an epic fish. It's definitely a little bit sporty out here now, but that's me very happy. Any fish we get from now is getting released, like that other one which we released a minute ago. Let's get another live yakka down. This one still looks pretty happy. Drop him down to the bottom. Some good waves coming through. Very good waves. There we go. The tail and body's all wrapped up and I also have three ice packs in there as well. So that fish is gonna be really nicely stored. Oh, look at that. We've just pedaled back up and there are fish directly on the bottom, schooled up. So what we're gonna do is drop that rig back down and we'll get that livey back down to the bottom as well. There's some really nice ground we're covering. We found such good area, such good rubble, such good bottom, so there could be some more around. Some good fish down there, eh? Ooh, had a hit. That was a good hit. There we go. It's a snapper. He's swimming at me. I felt him grab that on the way down. Look at that. <laughs> How cool is this? Now we've hooked up to one on the plastic. I don't... Ooh. It's good to be getting them on the plastic as well. <laughs> they go so hard on this gear. I'm only using my little 4000 ITX and three or three to six or four to eight kilo rods. So it's pretty sporty and it's a good little fish. <laughs> That's a lot of fun, man. That is a lot of fun. These snapper are on the chew. There he is there, that seven inch jerk shad pinned right in the corner of his mouth. And that's still a really quality fish, but we're just gonna get him straight back. The water's fairly deep, so the less time out of the water, the more chance of survival. And he's gone. He just rocketed off. Keeping it pretty simple with this little jerk shad. I'm just sinking it towards the bottom and then giving it a few lifts. These snapper seem to like to hit it on the drop around here. Don't know if you guys can see that, but the sound is lit up with some bait and also some snapper. Damn, there's a lot down right here. There we go. There we go, felt him grab that a couple times. Oh, that's a good fish. He hasn't woken up yet. Wow, that's a big fish. What is that? Oh, he has not woken up at all. That's a good, that's a really good fish. There we go. 
All right, that rod's in, out of the way. Now we can just fight this fish, which feels pretty big. Very big, actually. I wonder what this is. Feels like another snapper, but you never can be 100% sure when you're out here. Feels a little bit different. Kind of feels different, or it could just be another snapper. Oh, it's got some go to it. It's got a lot of go to it. Oh, I think it is another snapper. Another really good snapper, I think. Really good. Yeah, look at that. Another quality snapper. Once again on the little 4000 outfit. <laughs> How cool is this? Oh, there's some big fish down there. Really big fish down there. Man, how much fun is this? Big snapper on the plastic. <laughs> that is a really nice little fish. That seven inch little Z-Man jerk shad is getting the fish today. Once again on that little jerk shad, seven inch Z-Man in ukula chicken, I think. So what a good little fish. Oh, nice fish. Another quality snapper. Yeah, one last little look at him. Send him back off, spear him off. There he goes. Drop Mr. Yakka back down. I mean, this is literally what kayak fishing dreams are made of. We've got, what, five snapper now? Oh, and that rod just had a hit. That rod just had a hit in the background. Five snapper now, one which could possibly be a PB. I don't know if it's gonna be, but it was absolutely enormous. So crazy day out here. So cool. It's only 9.30, only 9.30 in the morning. We've only been fishing for, in reality, like two and a half, three hours. So we'll retire that rod for the day. And I think we'll slowly start retiring every rod because we've got our two fish. As I said, we want to look after them, keep them in the best conditions. So soon enough, we'll head back in. All right, everyone, well, I'm nearing the launch site. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. Hopefully you enjoyed. This was honestly probably one of the best snapper sessions that I've ever had. We cracked that absolute giant. I'll let you guys know what it measured on the screen now, but what a fish. Turtle, oh, how cool is that? Big turtle, right on the surface. That would be such a cool photo shot. Turtle on the sunrise. I reckon we'll start fishing around here, man. This morning and yesterday morning are the two best mornings that I've ever seen offshore. Well, especially out on the kayak. 0.7 swell this morning, no winds. It is a dream, dream morning. So my plan for today is to catch pretty much anything which swims out here. So we're gonna be targeting some snapper, gonna have a live bait down for hopefully a dewfish or something pretty big. And we might even drop a smaller paternoster rig down to try and catch a pearly or a tusky or something cool like that. There's just so many opportunities out here. So let's just get straight into it. The first rod we're gonna get out is the big live bait rod. So we've got two snailed hooks on this thing, big ball sinker, and we're gonna put one of those yakas straight on it. That's our first bait of the morning. A little yakka, a little lollipop for a big snapper or a jew or something big. So we'll drop him down. A little bit, a little bit of bait actually down there. We'll loosen that drag off a little bit so a big fish doesn't rip the rod out of the holder. Pretty well good. Let's we'll leave him drifting in the holder. Oh, that's a lot of bait on the sounder. I might try to get a couple more before we set up the other rods. So you can see on the sounder there, there's heaps of squiggles, heaps of stuff on the bottom. So there we go. Just hit the bottom, we got bait on. The yakas, okay. Oh, what? That's a pilchard. Oh, there's pilchards or something. Let's get this bait rig down. I can't believe we got a pilchard, man. I've never caught a pilchard out here on the live bait rig. That's pretty cool. A little bit of yakka on that bottom hook there. So yakka on the bottom and pilchard on the top. We're gonna drop that down, bottom bounce. Now we'll get the plastic going. So we've got this seven inch pilchard colored. So that's really good. There's pilchards down there, so pilchard coloured plastic, and we'll just cast that around. Should hopefully get hit on the drop in the ideal world. I'll have to try to find some different ground. All the ground which I fished last time has boats. I think we got a fish on here. Yep, we got a fish on. Whatever this is, it doesn't like fighting. So I'm guessing we got a cod or something. <laughs> we sure do. If anyone knows what type of fish this is, let me know down below, but that's the first fish of the morning. That's a really cool looking critter. All right, get another cast back out. Sun's on the way up now. Good morning, sun. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. There we go. I think that's a, oh, double. That's big. We got something big on the yakka. Yakka got eaten. Oh no, they're tangled. Oh no, 
This is worst case scenario. I'm just gonna flip the bale on that one. And we've still got the plastics rod out too. I'm more interested in whatever ate the live bait. I think it ate the live bait unless I tangled up. I really need to try and get this, this rod in. I might lose some fish here. He's still on. Okay, come here, mate. This is gonna be a mess when we get it up, but hopefully we can just get it up. Let's just see what we've got here. It's gonna be a good fish. He destroyed that little yakka. Exact same spot as the last one. And it's a good snapper. Good snappers destroyed that yakka. If we can just get the fish out. Don't really care if we lose him. Oh, there is another fish on the other one too. There we go, up and around. Okay, we'll leave him there. We'll see if we've got another fish on. The other fish got off. Whew. How was that? A little bit of chaos. Can't believe they're eating live yakkas like that. They're just getting demolished. Okay, we'll get this bait back down. And we'll get a look at that snapper. <laughs> what a nice snapper. Man, when those live baits get hit and go, they go. Let's bring you on board if we can. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is try to get that top hook out. Hooks are out, it's a beautiful little fish. Nice. What a way to start the morning, man. On the live bait, live bait fishing is so fun. They just get demolished when fish do decide to grab them. We've caught that nice little cod and now a solid, solid early morning snapper. We will take him any day of the week. I don't want to mess around with him. Came out of pretty deep water, so we're just going to get him going. All right, mate, thanks so much. Go on. Cool, man. How cool is that? First good fish of the morning. I'm gonna go straight back to that spot as well. There's definitely more sitting on that rock. We had another live bait get destroyed there too. Slowly running out. Take a look at him. <laughs> he is a lollipop. Send him down. Right back down to the deep. Oh, there's some good fish down here. A little bit of rock and reef. Let's try and sink that plastic down right on their heads because I know there's a few more fish down there. No doubt in my mind. That's about where they're sitting out there. I reckon we'll go for a move, a bit of an explore. We've covered that bit of reef very thoroughly, so we'll try and find some new grounds, see if we can pick up some different species, hopefully, and some big fish. Oh, there's some down here. There's just a lot of fish scattered throughout, but I want to try and find some reef where there might be a whole heap. There we go, that's another rocky, though. Oh, it is different. I think it's a tailor, actually. Big tailor. Well, not big, but... Oh, he just threw up a bait fish. It's a legal tailor, and my little yakas keep getting taken on the live bait rig, so I'm gonna put that tailor down. If something grabs that, it'll be big. It's a good fish. Yep. Yep. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. What's that? On the old bait rig. Yes, that's a goodie. Feels like a snapper maybe. Feels like they're gonna rip the rod out of the holder when they do that. That is insane. Big head shakes. Feels pretty snappery to me. Yes. <laughs> How good is this? It's actually been, oh. Holy the Live tailor. That's a live tailor. That's alive. Oh no, just got off. Oh, just got off. We got one on. Man, the live tailor got eaten and snapped my rod holder again. Where? That was a Jew. The live tailor got eaten by a Jew for sure. Mark that spot, man. That would have been a monster. This is a big snapper. I can't believe that whole Oh, look at that. A little knobber. What happened to my rod holder? It just came out, didn't break. It just slipped out. Oh, there's Jewies down there. 100% of Jew. That was a 36 centimeter tailor. And I was like, I'll just put it down. Why not? And it just got railed, man. Oh, the heart is running. Running a million miles an hour. Look at the rod holder. Oh, I want to get another livey over there so bad. Oh, look at that. <laughs> on that Paternoster rig, how good is that? A little male snapper. That's a nice little knobby, man. Look at the knob on him. What an awesome little fish. This fella's gonna grow up to be an epic 
big knobby snapper, so we're going to let him go. We're in pretty deep water, so I'm just going to get that hook out and send him off. Hook's out, and we're just going to spear him back. There we go, straight down, wow. Oh, we're getting back on that mark. That was a Jew, Bewing, just pulled hook, such a big bait. <sighs> Let's get another livey down, I think we've got two left. They're not, they're not Taylor though, but I don't know if you guys saw that, I almost dropped both rods in. <laughs> I almost dropped that one in, and then I almost dropped this one in as well. Oh, what chaos. The drag wasn't even too tight, it just hit it so hard and didn't stop that it almost snapped it. Well, it did snap it. Low key, have my fingers crossed for another Taylor because that was insane. Big bait got woofed, but we'll have to deal with the yakka for now. We'll drop him down. Okay, we're on the bottom again. All stations need to be armed at the moment. Okay, let's get the paternoster back down. Oh, there's a good fish. Good fish coming through right now. Some big fish down there, dude. Again. Good fish. Can't even get it out of the holder. Can't even get it out of the holder. Big fish. Big fish. Yep. Love yakka. I need to leave one in the holder. I'm gonna leave that one in the holder. Back that drag off. Back that drag off heaps. Live yakka. And the bait rod. Need to get this in. Oh my god, man. This is big too. Surely a snapper didn't eat, eat that tailor. I doubt it. This is a good fish. And we've got another one on there. Big head shakes. This is a snapper, I reckon. Oh man, what a session so far. We've already got the two snapper. And now we're on to another really big one. This is a good fish too, guys. And that rod's still going off. We've got a double. Here we go. Big snapper on the live yakka. <sighs> Big snapper on the live yakka. All right, we're just gonna leave him in the holder for a little bit while we deal with that other one. Loosen that drag way off. <sighs> and we've got another one on still. Doubles. This one feels pretty big too. What is going on? We found our own. Oh God, that scares me every time now. We found our own patch away from all the boats. There's a fair, this is a good one. There is a fair few boats out today, but we found our own patch and we're on some fish. There's a lot of fish on the sounder. Just knowing that there's a fish of that caliber down there, which will eat almost a 40 centimeter tailor. That's the one which we want to hook. That's our goal. But these fish are epic. This is a monster, man. This one's bigger than the one which ate the larvae. Look at that. Wow. There's really not many words to describe what's going on on the Paternoster. Let's get this first snapper on board. Really nice one. Just gonna quickly get the hooks out and get him going and then that one's even bigger over there. Let's get a little look at him and then we'll send him off. So once again, a really nice fish. Take a look at that. Quality snapper, we're having some sort of day out here. We finally found a patch of good looking ground and it's holding some really nice fish. Don't wanna give them too much stress. We go, there goes one. Damn. Oh, look at that one. That's a really nice fish. Get that hook out. Oh, this one's got a bit of damage. He actually, I reckon he ran into the reef with my bait. See that, he's got some little bit of scarring on his head, but <laughs> that's like an 80 centimeter fish. That's a real nice one, eh? Insane. We might have to try and get a couple on the plastics. Let's get him going. Go, mate. Gone. But let's get back over to that spot. This is insane. Okay, so we're just gonna have this livey down and then we're gonna cast with the plastics. That's the new plan. It's starting to come over some life. I don't think that yak is gonna last too long. Going through some big fish right now. Oh, there it goes. Oh, he got off. Oh. Back on it. Back on it. Oh, this one's on. Oh, it got off. Oh, and this one got off, did it? And this one got off. Oh, you're kidding. There we go. Yep. Good fish. Grab that half butterfly yakka. Yep. Good fish. Oh, good fish. That's another snapper, I reckon. 
Man, they're not touching the plastics. We had one whack, but didn't convert. Oh, yes. Very good fish on the butterfly yakka. They're literally only pretty much touching baits. Oh, a lot of go in them, eh? A lot of go, even though I'm using pretty heavy tackle. And that's why there's a lot of go. Because he's a big fish. He's only just on, but that's okay. Look at that, man. There are some serious numbers of fish here. And they're all really solid, too. Oh, look at that. It's another really solid one. Yet another one. He's probably, yeah, again, 65, 70 centimeters. So another real quality fish, maybe 65. Awesome, we'll just get him straight back. Yep, there he goes. I'm watching him swim all the way down. Perfect. Man, they release really well. Well, after this one, we pretty much ran out of baits yet again, but we'll get this butterfly jacker down. Hopefully it gets woofed. Got something. Yep, hopefully that's a tailor or something. It feels a little bit different. It could be a little pinky or something, maybe. Definitely feels a little bit smaller than some of the other stuff. A little pinky, yeah. He's a bubba. Oh, that's better. Yep, straight back down into another one. It's a little bit better. Smaller one again. Looks like there's bait down there, so I'm gonna drop that bait rig down if I can. See, buddy. Well, we can just try and catch some liveies and then get them straight back down. That's the way to do it. Oh, we got a few of them. Th three of them, one on every hook. Wow. What an active spot. What a lively Oh, one got off. That big yak is going straight out. That is the bait. It's the best bait I've had out for a while. Down you go, Mr. Yakka. All right, if he goes, that should be a goodie. On the way down, on the way down, it grabbed it. Yeah, I was waiting for that to happen. Good snapper. Yes, on the way down. Haven't got a red on the plastics all day today until we've just hooked up now. So they're still down there. I was getting a little bit worried that they've moved on, but oh, good fish, good fish. I don't know if it's as big as some of the other ones, which we've caught today but still gonna be a really nice fish oh look at the go they have so much go when you're using plastics oh, this is gonna be a good one look at that dogging it out i tell you know they're pretty decent a bit of weight there he is very nice snapper oh they're spawning see that definitely not as big as some of the other ones seven inch jerk shad yet again and nice snapper little male one so we're just gonna send him off the less time out of the water for these fish the better the cast back out. What a day it's been. Oh. Oh. He's getting hit. That's a good fish. That is a big fish. That's a snapper as well. Man, that is crazy. A live yakker is never safe out here. And he doesn't even feel crazy big either. That's the remarkable thing. These fish are savages. He's hooked in the nose. I'm gonna try to be real quick with these fish now. Oh, just like that. <laughs> Which one are you coming to the dance? This one? Yeah, this one. Oh, that's good. Wow, that is a really good fish. Whoa. Live yakka once again has just been totaled. And it seems to be a theme of today. These yakkers are just lollipops. They're lollipops for these big snapper. Gone. I'm thinking about calling it very, very shortly because we've caught heaps of snapper. We've caught seven big snapper, a couple of small pinkies. So I don't really need to keep or catch any more to put any more stress on them. All right, everyone. Well, that is going to conclude our morning and what a morning it was. Probably, again, it's probably one of my best snapper sessions that I've ever had. Incredible. Heaps of fish on the bait, a couple on the lures, and all around, what a day out. I'm still spewing. We didn't get that fish on that tail up. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Fisherman's Paradise, pretty much. Look at this morning. It is like 
as perfect as offshore conditions could ever get. Zero wind at the moment, 0.6 swell, and we're out here kayak fishing. So I'm very, very excited. I've just launched. The light is slowly making its way up, and I am currently preparing a sabiki rig to try and catch some bait. So my plan for today is to try and catch either a dewfish or a pearl perch. I've been catching a fair few snapper recently. We'll probably run into a few of those hopefully as well, but I really want to try and dial in a big dewy offshore or a pearl perch, something which is very unique and what I haven't caught before. So I'm just going to rig up this sabiki rig. I've stopped halfway to my spot because I found a lot of bait. Might as well capitalise and get a few baits if we can. This sabiki rig's a bit old and crusty, so he's going to be retired. I'm going to get a new one out, a fresh one with five hooks. I don't mind the conditions at all this morning. There's a little bit of rain getting about. Very, very overcast and cloudy, which is like my favourite. I love overcast conditions for fishing, so that's good. Oh, there's a lot of bait below us. We want to drop into that, see what we can get. The plan is just to quickly get some baits, try and get four or five baits, and then head out to where I lost a really, really big fish the other day on a live tailor. I'm hoping the quicker we can get there, the earlier in the morning we can get there, the better shot we'll have. There's a little bit of bait down there, not a lot, but we'll give it one drop, see what we can do. Man, every morning I come out here and do this type of stuff, I just, every time I'm so grateful because I know how lucky I am to be able to do this. It's crazy and I just want to thank everyone and thank you all for watching the videos and taking your time, taking time out of your days to watch my content and I'm glad that you all enjoy it. Oh, there we go. We have something. Oh, got off. This fresh sabiki rig should stick them a lot more than that last one. There we go. We have a fish, hopefully it's a yakka or something of the sorts. Welcome aboard. It is a little yakka, that is the smallest yakka. So spiky, these little creatures. There we go, we got some more. Oh, we've got a lot. <laughs> we just left it down there for a minute, hit the bottom and we've got a few of them, I think. See what we've got going on here. It feels fairly heavy for a little live bait. What are you, mate? Oh, you're kidding, it's a tailor. Just gonna leave that in the holder. I'll give this tailor. Oh, we got another one. Yep. A couple of little lollipops to start off the morning, which is good. We wanted to get baits quickly and we've achieved that. Oh, that tailor, dude. That is clutch. With that tailor on board and him being like 31, 32, I'm gonna head straight out to that spot. How lucky is that? We got another tailor. That is what you call a live bait. We're gonna get out there now. Get out to that reef. Found uh, that big fish on the reef yesterday, so I'm gonna head out to there. And look at the morning. We're about to find out a big bait equals big fish. He's going down. Wow, look at all the fish there. What are those? Is that all bait? So that's the mark from the other day, and we're coming right up over it now. So we're in a good spot. Exact same scenario as yesterday. We got a big livey down, and I think we're just going to cast around some plastics for the time being. I'm going to pedal over to that mark a little bit, make sure we're right on it. It's raining. What do I do? Um... I'm gonna have to hide these cameras. Think fast, we got a jumper. Camera, camera, get undercover. Hopefully it passes pretty quick. Taylor's doing something. Unless that's the bottom. Could be the bottom. Oh, that's another, oh. Oh, on the way up. Oh, that's a tuna, I think. What is that? Don't tell me that's a tuna. Oh, is that a snapper on the way up? Is that a snapper on the way up? Oh, I think the tailor just got hit. Get rid of that jumper. I reckon I just got a snapper on the way up. Wow. This is a big fish. This is a big fish, no word of a lie. I was winding this in to just recast it. And what happened was I got hit on the way up by a tailor, so I stopped it for about two or three seconds, kept winding, and a snapper's grabbed it, I reckon. This is a good fish too. This isn't a small one. He is fighting really hard. He feels pretty big. I really thought we had a tuna then, just because of the way it hit it on the way up, but it's a snapper, I reckon. If it's not a snapper, it's the world's biggest tailor. Yeah, it's a snapper. It's a cracking snapper, like a cracking one. Look at that. On the way up. Wow, I've never had that happen here. There we go, got him. First cast of the morning, we got a snapper on the plastic. <laughs> That's one way to start the day, it's still raining. It's still raining. Hopefully these cameras survive the rain. Oh, look at that. 
on the way up. A really nice snapper's eating it. That is a quality, quality fish too. I'm happy of that to start off the morning. Try to get him going. Go on, buddy. Go on. Go on. There he goes. Go on, skis. Let's get back down there. Good little start to the morning. Literally first cast snapper. That's how you want to start. <laughs> I still can't believe he hit it on the way up. That's so unusual. Well, for me at least. Well, this isn't really how I envisioned it. We've got the two cameras covered up because it's raining. Still got that tailor down though. He hasn't been touched yet. But I'm seeing some decent fish along the bottom. So there's fish down there. Got that one snapper already. This is my third cast. This is the smaller plastic which we're going to use a 5 inch and a smaller jig head so it's going to sink down there nicely and hopefully more snapper will be interested in grabbing that. Tell you what, I'm starting to think about getting the old bait rig out again, getting that pattern off the route and just trying to tick off a few fish because it's really, really effective. There we go. Got some more yakas. Yep. There's a lot of bait down there, which is a good sign. and There has to be some predatory fish lurking in this area. They might not be exactly where we are at the moment, but if we cover a lot of ground, we should find them. Oh, pilchards. Pilchards, pilchards, pilchards. All right, well, we're going to get that snapper rig down with two pilchards. Look how cool these things are, the little pilchards. So cool, eh? Such cool scales on them. Nothing's guaranteed in fishing, but I'll put money on a pilchard and a yakka catching a snapper. I don't think they're eating the plastics because it's just a carpet of bait down there, so hopefully this does the trick. Wow, look at that. We've got a pattern off. Oh, rainbow. That's pretty cool. Rainbow, but even better, we've got a little live yakker at the top, pilchard down the bottom, and that's going down. Three live baits out. Oh, one dead bait and two live baits. Once again, they seem to be pretty locked into bait. Like, I hooked one on the bait jig, so they're definitely locked into the bait today. Oh, gone instantly, both of them. Another pilchard, another live yakker going down. Well, we've got some really good baits down, Taylor and a live yakka and live yakka, so see what happens. Oh, there we go. We got one. We got something. Yep. Straight away. Wonder what that was on. Probably the Taylor, I'm guessing. Feels decent. Definitely a little snapper, I reckon, maybe. Let's have a look at him. He's slowly coming up. Feels pretty good. <laughs> Second decent fish of the morning. As soon as that hit the bottom. I was on the live yakka. <laughs> All right, little buddy. Your swim bladder's pretty blown, so if you don't swim, we might take you home. That rhymed. Nice little fish. Second snapper of the morning. He's only a little puppy, so we'll see if he swims, but if not, we will take him. Go on. There he goes. Down he goes. Well, very tough. Come on, plastic. You'd think that looks exactly like a pilchard and the pilchards are getting destroyed as soon as they get to the bottom, so come on. Oh, whale. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. A couple of whales. Beautiful morning. Look at that. <laughs> it is a morning and a half and the fishing's pretty good too. A couple of snappers so far this morning. We haven't had a real big run from a live bait or anything, but there's still time. There's still plenty of time in the morning. There we go. On the way down. Feels decent. A little snapper, I reckon. Yes, that's good. On the way down. If they are going to hit it, a lot of the time it is on the way down like that. Feels decent. I don't really know what it is, though. Could be a smaller snapper. I think it is. I think it's a little bit smaller snapper. Well, that's two for the plastics and one for the bait so far. Here he is. What is he? Yeah, nice little snapper. Very nice. Hooked right on the top of the lip. There he is. Really nice little fella. Beautiful, man. Ow! That didn't feel good. Oh, see you, mate. You can get going. Just get going. Just get going. Spine me in the leg. Next cast back out, that five inch is definitely getting a lot more interest than that bigger one and the heavier ones. I might go for a bit more of an explore soon because those big fish definitely aren't stacked up here like they were a couple of days ago. So might have to move around, find some more rocky ledges, some new grounds and hopefully some more fish. Try and get a handful more baits and then we're going to go for a proper explore. Try find some new ledges, some new cliffs and rocky bars which are holding fish. Instantly, eh? Instantly we can get bait, which is good. 
It's a lot of bait, just not a heap of predators. Oh, it's a slimy. Gee whiz fizz, it's a slimy. He's going straight down. I wonder if there's a few more of those fellas. There we go. Oh, we've got a few. What is that? That's fighting hard. The bait rig's just on fire. It's catching everything. Like we're catching little tarwine, I think. Slimies, yakas. It's just incredible the amount of life which is down here. Like it's crazy. What are we guessing, Taylor? I'm guessing. Trevally. Hello, Trevor. Obviously it's not the bait fish that we're after, but that's pretty cool. Little Trevally. See ya, fella. There we go. It's a different type of wrasse. Look at that. First for me. Pretty cool. Sabiki rig's just a lot of fun. You just never really know what you're going to get. Another fish I haven't caught before. On a roll. Look at the colours on him. That is sick. Ow! He has spikes, but he would look very cool in an aquarium. Very cool. There we go. It feels a little bit bigger. What is that? Whoa! That's an alien. What in the demon is that? Oh, what is that? Did anyone know what that was? We'll call that fella. What should we name him? That's It's got to be a new species. We'll call that the... Nev. A niv. We should do a multi-species challenge out here, that's what we should do. Fishing's for sure been a little bit slower than previous days, but that's okay. Look at the day which we're fishing in. It is incredible today. I'm surprised these bait rods aren't getting bites. It's just dead quiet. Here we are following a young kayak fisherman, exploring the blue planet which surrounds around 80% of the earth. With two live baits and one lure, Let's spectate this fisherman as he tries to catch big fish and fails bloody miserably. Don't know what happened at the end there, but it's a bit more Davey for the, for the viewers. David, David and bro. There's a fair bit of wind coming soon, so I'm gonna pack all the gear up and start to head back in, but hopefully you enjoyed today's video. We caught a couple of snapper and a whole heap of different species. A little bit of a multi-species thing going on, but that big fish really did elude us today. We caught that one nice snapper, but other than that, we had a heap of liveys out, had a heap of chances, but we just couldn't get a big fish. Good morning, everyone. Today, it's a very, very exciting day because it is the first day that I'm taking my kayak offshore. I've had the kayak for three years now. I've never taken it offshore before, and today, is the day. I'm a little bit nervous, but we're just gonna get out there and see how it goes. <laughs> it's probably the chillest ocean launch you'll ever get. <sighs> well, here we go now. My first ever kayak and ocean experience. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous and I have been a little bit nervous for the past like 24 hours. I've never been out in the ocean on my kayak before, but today's gonna to be the day we do it. We've launched in a really, really nice area. Like where we launched is probably the best spot you could ever get to launch a kayak. It's so protected and we can just really get out here into the deep stuff. Well, we're down to about 13 and a half, 14 meters, and we're slowly drifting over this really nice ledge. There's a lot of rocks on avionics and stuff like that. So I think this is where we're gonna start. Let's give it a crack. Got a big jig head on. Not exactly sure what weight it is or what size, but that's a little look at it. And we're going to put one of these nuclear chicken soft plastics on there. Damn, it almost seems like I need a bigger jig head. Look at it. It's not even halfway down the plastic or even close. We'll see how it goes. If this doesn't hook up or we get bites and they don't stick, we'll trim the plastic a little bit. But that's going to be us to start off with. First cast. First cast, chasing snapper. Oh, there's a good fish. There we go. Got something. Yes, we've got a fish. I literally just saw something on the sounder too. What is this? It's not fighting or anything. Not fighting at all. What are you, mate? Probably a little reef cod. Yep. They look so gnarly. I don't even know if I can touch that thing. They don't look touchable. 
There he goes. Oh man, I was going to say, I don't want to touch him. He does not look friendly at all. We'll have one more cast, I reckon, then we're done. It's getting a little bit windy. Let's go. Good morning everyone and welcome to attempt two of offshore kayak fishing. We are out here really, really early this morning. The sun isn't even up yet and I'm on the bait grounds. I've just pedaled out past the breakers. I've just found a bunch of bait on the sounder while I was pedaling out. So we're gonna have our first stop right about here, but it is a glorious morning so far this morning. No wind at the moment, minimal swell today. So it is just glamour. Glamour, glamour, glamour. There's definitely some stuff on the sounder though. I don't have anywhere to store live baits, but even if we just get some dead baits and drop those down, I'm sure that'll be good enough. Okay, we'll try to tie this bad boy on. Oh, there they are. See, that's bait down there. We're just gonna drop that sabiki right on it. See if we can get any. Surely. I think that's bait. Oh, it's lit up. Look at the sounder. That's gotta be bait, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. We got one. We got something. Didn't take too long at all. Let's see what it is. I think it's a yakka. It is a tiny. That is the smallest yakka I think I've ever caught. Well, first bait and here's a little lollipop. We're just gonna try and keep him alive in the live well. I mean, not the live well. If he can get his head in there, he should stay alive. That's perfect. The Mirage Drive doubles as a live well. We have got a bait. We've already started off better than the other day. Get that rig back down. There we go. Got another one. Yep. They are little hoops. They are little lollipops. Oh, there's a lot down there right now. Go back down. Come on, liveys. They're down there right now. Oh. There we go. Another one. Yep. He's a good one. He's a big one. They're the ones you want. Oh, look at the sounder. The sounder was lit. Oh, another one. A little fella. I reckon what we do is get a few of them, try to keep a few of them live, and then also drop some dead baits down as well. But this is amazing. An amazing start. Oh. I think we got a few on here. This will be the last ones we get. Something different. Is that a little Trevally? It is. A little Trevally. Get him going. Oh, something a little bit different. Trevor. Okay, I reckon that's enough. Hopefully those guys will stay alive in there. There we go. Feels good as well. Another Trevelli or... And we got two of them. Three of them. Alright, that's definitely enough. That's more than enough liveies. <laughs> yes! Oh man, this is super exciting. I'm so pumped and I'm not even fishing yet. We were just bait collecting and I'm excited. Get the other rods out. We've got a plastics rod and then we're also gonna have one bait rod with a live bait and a dead bait, I reckon. Okay, so we'll take a fillet off one of these yakkers. All right, let's give it the first drop of the morning. So we've got a little Paternoster rig here. On the top hook, we've got a live yakker. Keen to get him down and on the bottom we've got just a bit of a cut bait, one of those yakkers cut into a strip. So hopefully using that, we'll give ourselves two opportunities. One with the bottom bait for some smaller fish and hopefully a giant fish on the top. Oh, having a bite, having a bite. Missed him. We just had a bite already. He might have got my bait. We'll have a look. First bait check of the morning. Still stuffed down there. Uh, just didn't hook up. He must have had to go at the bottom bait, I reckon. Oh, look at that. There's some good fish. 14 metres. Those fellas are sitting in. We're just going to drop that livey on their heads, pretty much. There are some solid fish showing on the sounder, so we'll give this a crack now. Got a soft plastic rigged up on the medium rod, so we'll throw that around while the livey and the baits are down there. Just going to cast that up in front. We've got a little ledge, so it's fairly shallow. Well, not fairly shallow, but it's shallower over there. And I'm sitting in the deeper water. 
a lot of bait here. It's only a matter of time until something happens, I reckon. Well, that's a good fish. I think that's a livey or something. Bouncing around. Yep. Yep. You got something good? Yes. What is that? That is something decent, eh? Yeah, that could be a snapper or something. Got some head shakes. There is so much stuff on the sounder down there, it is actually ridiculous. And we've hooked up. Oh, it's a wrasse. I think it's not a tusky. You think it's a Is it a tusky? Oh, is that a tusky? I think that's a tusky, eh? I think that looks exactly like a Venus tusk fish. It is a tusky. It's a tusky. Now, I'm almost 100% sure, and I know you guys will let me know if I'm wrong, but I think that's a Venus tusk fish. Really cool, my first ever tusky. Have a look at the colours on that fish too. That is just one epic little fish. And he actually fought pretty hard. So, we'll put him out now. Alright. Let's reset. See ya, Yakka. See ya, Yakka fillet. I'm happy with that, man. Haven't been fishing for too long now, and we've already got our first fish. So stoked, so stoked. There's a lot of fish on the bottom too, so we could get some more. Leave that fella there. There we go. We got something. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. Oh yes. What is that? That is heavy, man. That is not... Oh, that's big. That is big. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, that feels really heavy. Big head shakes. Oh my goodness. That feels really heavy. Really heavy. What is that? What have I hooked here <laughs> on the plastic? We're gonna need the net for this one, whatever this is. This is a big fish. Doesn't look like there's too much rubble, but I don't wanna jinx myself, so. 17 meters of water, there's so much life on the sound that my bait rod keeps getting tapped all the time. And we've just hooked up to a really nice fish here. <laughs> yes, oh, this is so much more of a fun trip than my last offshore trip. There's actually fish. This has gotta be a big red, eh? Oh my, man, that is a big fish. If this is a snapper, it is really big. Like, really big. It's not a red rock cod, I don't think. Whoa, is that a whale? That was a whale out there too. Yep, that's a whale. Please stay away from the kayak whale. There he is, I think it's a Jew. If that isn't a Jew, that is a monster snapper. Oh, I think it's just a monster snapper. Holy hell, man. That is really big. That is big. Oh, that is big. Come on, in the net. Yes! Yes, that is big. <laughs> what a fish. Oh, on the plastic. Oh, just a little bit more successful than the other day when we went out. <laughs> that is a monster fish. Wait till I show you guys. That's a giant snapper. That is what we're talking about, man. Oh, all right, let's get a look at this thing. This is an absolute truck of a snapper. It is a beast. What a fish. My first ever snapper on a plastic, and it is a giant. He's engulfed that little Z-man too. Take a look at the head on it as well. It destroyed that plastic. I honestly thought I was snagged for a second there when I first hooked him, but it was just a giant red. <laughs> that is insane. Hopefully I don't drop him in. What a fish. Let's put him out of his misery. This is exciting, man. This is fun, fun fishing, fun fishing. That snapper went so hard. Let's get this back out. We'll check that leader really quickly. Should be fine, I think. Yeah, leader's fine, plastic's still fine. That is the best fish I've caught on a lure in a long time. Let's get that lure back down. Another fish. Yep, 
that did not take long. That was like a cast or two later. Doesn't feel very big yet. You're a rock cod, mate. You're fighting like a rock cod. Damn, he's got that lure down too. See you, mate. You're not the snapper we're after, but still a cool little fish. I think it's a red rock cod, I think. Oh no. It's a gurnet, I think. Different creature. Look at him. He's different. Looks very cool. He's not what we're after though. He's definitely a reef fish. There he goes. It is now quarter past nine, so we've probably got an hour and a half until we have to head back in because there is some really strong winds coming, so I definitely don't want to get caught out in those. On the way up. Let me grab that on the way up. <laughs> what is that? Probably a tailor or something, go. Tailor? Damn, big tailor. Nah, we've got a lot of yakas. We don't need to keep him. We don't need to keep anything we're not gonna use completely, so we'll let him go. See you, buddy. You're a lucky tailor. It's meant to get really windy by this afternoon. It's gonna get to like 20 knots, so I don't really wanna play around with that. Well, might as well wrap this one up here, but wow. What a day. We've got one big snapper and one tusk fish in the esky. My second time ever offshore on the kayak and we got onto some fish. So I'm more than happy. This wind's starting to get up now, so I've got to get in. And yeah, if you want to see more kayak videos or more kayak offshore videos, then let me know by leaving a like. I wonder if there's enough light to see me yet. If there is, good morning everyone. We've got three yakas so far, so a really good start to the morning. I'm just pedaling out to the deeper area now and then we're going to get into a bit of fishing my plan for today is obviously to try and catch a snapper or a big jewfish those are the two main target species going to be fishing live baits on the bottom soft plastics big soft plastics for big snapper and hopefully the plan comes together very shortly i'm kind of banking to be able to catch some liveies out where we're going to be fishing they were there yesterday so i'm hoping that they'll be there today and then we can just get the bait which is on the grounds but I thought for a little bit of a safety net, if we do see any on the way out, we'll just try and get a couple. Oh, there's a lot of bait. A lot of bait there. They're gonna drop right on that. There we go. As soon as it hit the bottom. Just ones where we know we're probably gonna get a fish. Nice little yakka. Try to find that school again. He's a perfect little lollipop for a big snapper, that guy. There we go. Ooh, that's a good bait. Yeah, there's a lot of bait down there. This is perfect. We're right near the bait grounds, or no, not the bait grounds, the place where I caught the fish yesterday, and we're already seeing bait. Oh, that bait's real thick. There we go. On the bottom and on. That's the type of bait we want, especially near our fishing grounds, and this thing's fighting so hard. Must have a few on there. Oh, slimies. Oh, we got slimies. We're just going to get them in. Come here, slimies. Yes, we got slimies. Oh, that's good bait. Slimy mackerel, the king of baits. I reckon we're gonna get one of these guys down right now. We got two more fish. Slimy, slimy. Okay, we're done. We're done on the bait front. Okay, considering there's a lot of bait down there, I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna get one of the big rods out with a live slimy on it straight away. Hopefully, we get a giant fish on the slimy. And then through the nose. And that's him. That's a live slimy going down. Going down. How's he looking? Oh, there's some bigger fish. Look at that. There's a big fish on top of that bait there. This is good signs, man. This is cracking signs. Oh. That didn't take long. Oh, did it get off? Wow. Slimy just saw the end of life. Well, the answer to if there's big fish sitting in that bait, yes, there is. That slimy lasted about a solid minute and we're gonna get another one down. That was wild. Instantly. Let's get another one down. What just happened there? While we're waiting for that livey to do something, cast around this plastic. So we've got a seven inch jerk shad nuclear chicken. So we'll throw that around, sink it down to the bottom. Come on snappers, where are you at? 
we were here yesterday. There's just so much bait down there. They're probably just gorging and feeding as much as they want at the moment. So much down there. It's cool. Cool to see. Where there's bait, there should be bigger fish, you'd think. Oh. On the way down. There we go. There's a fish. Yep. On the way. There we go. That's a good fish. On the way down, he grabbed that. So that's probably a snapper, if we had to guess. And it seems like a big one. Look at that, look at the head shakes. Oh, hopefully it doesn't find that rubble. There's a fair bit of rubble down there. Oh, come here, man, come here. Come up, no, 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 no. He's towing the kayak at one and a half knots. Oh yeah, look at the rubble. Oh, we gotta be careful of that live bait too. It was only a matter of time with the amount of bait which is down there, the amount of life. Eventually, we were going to find a good fish and we found one. Usually the snapper always hit it on the drop around here, or so I've heard, so it's exactly what this guy did. And it feels pretty big too. I'm going to try to do a catch and release only mission today, so any fish which we get, I'd love to just release. This is going to be a cracker fish. What a way to start the morning. <laughs> The sun's only just started coming up and we're already onto a good fish. To be fair though, sunrise is at the peak bite time, so we do have to try capitalize to an extent. Oh, it's a cracker. That is a good red. <laughs> that is a very good red. Oh, what a fish. Look at that. We need the net for that one. <laughs> that is a quality snapper. What a fish. How good is this, man? We're out here nice and early. Literally not a boat in sight on a Saturday, and we're catching some good snapper. Well, we caught one. Oh, what a fish. Oh man, how awesome is that? This is the way I like to start my morning, with a good snapper. Big snapper, on a plastic as well, that little seven inch Z-Man, gone. Gone on the drop. <laughs> how good is that? How lucky are we as Australians to be able to come out and just catch beautiful, quality fish like that like it's such a privilege what an amazing fish very good way to start in the morning and we're going to release him as well we're just going to send him off go on mate swim down i think he's gone no messing around with him he just went straight down plastic i love catching these things on plastic it's a lot of fun very very different to how i target them back home and i'll show you the technique which i'm working with so i'm casting that lure out it's very simple but i'm simply just letting it sink down to the bottom and I'm paying very very close attention to that line while it's sinking because most of my hits are actually on the way down or while it's pretty close to the bottom so I'm just gonna let that free fall there's some good fish on the sounder below me hopefully that livey bumps into one right, we've made it down to the bottom and then I'm slowly just gonna hop it back along so a couple big lifts try to get that lure really high up into the water column snapper are very aggressive when they're feeding on these reefs so you just want to get it in their face make it look like a fish which is ready to be eaten. I think something's on that livey. Yep. Yep. Something ate the livey. Live yakka. I mean, live slimy. What is this gonna be? Feels a bit funny, weird, weird head shakes. Like, what is that? Is that a tailor? Could be a tailor, that. I'm guessing that's a big tailor. Oh, whoa. On the way up, something's grabbed my plastic. That's gotta be a tuna or something. Swimming at me, swimming at me. Whoa, what is that? We gotta get rid of this tailor. What's happened here? Whoa, this is something different. Something's grabbed my plastic on the way up. I could actually see some bigger fish sitting mid-water and near the surface, and I was like, I wonder. I wonder if I had any trolling lures would get one, but one of them's grabbed the plastic. I wonder what it is. Oh, that's gotta be some sort of tuna, doesn't it? We got a big tailor sitting there, and we've got a big fish on the light gear. It's gotta be some sort of tuna, doesn't it? Grabbing it on the way up, mid-water, fast retrieve. Oh, wow, how's the go on it? Look at the tailor, look at the tailor. We're getting dragged along at one knot. <laughs> well, this is cool. Look at it. Oh my goodness. This is what you call utterly epic, man. We've hooked a sick fish. I don't know what it is, a tuna, some sort of mackerel maybe. 
It feels pretty big, and it's taken a lot of line. Am I getting close to him? Definitely getting close to him. See if we can get him. He's gonna go down again for sure. These things have so much fight compared to fish I'm used to. <laughs> That's a good tailor. Look at him, he's just coming along for the ride. Getting spectator position of this fight. He's gotta be getting close. Oh, he just got off. <laughs> You're kidding, man. He pulled off. For sure a tuna, eh? Would have been one of those tuna which were just jumping. Pretty big tailor. A nice little second place prize compared to that tuna which we just had on, but if we didn't have as many liveies as we do, he'd be in trouble. See you, mate. Another live slimy. Going straight back down. Hopefully this one has a dew or a snapper written all over it. Try for a tuna for a couple casts, so the plan is just to cast it out, sink it down a little bit, and then just burn it, burn it up through that school. Can't believe we lost that tuna, man. That was pretty cool, though. Very cool to hook up to that fella, but it would have been nice to land him. Well, the heavier jig head in this jerk shot have stopped getting bites, so I'm going to change up the profile and also use a lighter jig head to try and get more bites. So use a different colour, pilchard, and see if this can get eaten. <laughs> Look at him. There we go. We got one. We got one. Yes. Oh, just sight casted them, eh? Yes. There's been heaps around. Oh, my goodness. They loosen that drag. We've hooked another one. Oh, that is peeling, man. <laughs> How is that? Oh, we gotta chase this thing. We gotta chase it down. It's taken a lot of line. They've been jumping around me for like, since I've been out here this morning, there's been heaps of whatever they are. Oh my goodness, is that a shark? I think that's a shark, dude. Oh man, oh, and I've got a live slimy there. What am I doing? I'll tell you what, this is extreme light tackle fishing, this. This is as extreme as it ever gets. Got to be some sort of tuna. This is where I lost him last time when he was swimming at me. This is, every single trip I've been out offshore, I've seen these tuna or mackerel. Or, I'm guessing they're tuna. I've seen them every single time. And we finally hooked up to one. They fight hard too. I wonder what type of tuna they are. I'm definitely no tuna expert or tuna fisherman, so you guys are going to have to help me out if we do land it. Oh, look at that. There he is there, he just jumped. He's not done yet. <sighs> no. Nah. Far out. They do not give up. No give up in them at all. Towing me around at one and a half knots. Man, this is a long fight. <laughs> you really have to work with these tuna. They just, look, he just won't quit. Just no quit at all. Very light tackle though, very light tackle to be chasing these fish. One of these is enough, you get carpal tunnel after too many. Dude, seriously. What? I don't think I've made much ground on this fish at all. I've just chased it down every time. <laughs> every time it does a big run, I'm just pedaling after it. This has been a 15, 20 minute fight already. And he's gotta be tired. If he's not tired, I sure am. Bit of angling work going on here. I'm trying to keep him to this side because I've got two big rods on the other side. At least we're exploring some new ground via tuna. He's right underneath us now. There he is, all the way down there. Man, that's a big tuna. We got him. Wow. What is that? I don't know what tuna that is, but he would have to be cooked after that fight because I am. What a cool fish. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% certain, but I think that is a long tail tuna, which is a type of bluefin, a northern bluefin, I think. I reckon we're going to keep this fish and then head back in because I'm also pretty sure there was a massive shark. Like, I reckon that was a big ass shark. That wasn't no dolphin. He killed himself during the fight, man. 
This fish is dead. 100% dead. Wow. How cool is that? <laughs> my first ever long tail tuna. Actually, that's my first ever tuna on the kayak. How cool is that? <laughs> really, really happy, man. That is so sick. And what a fight he put up. Crazy fight. All right, we're gonna bleed him. So now that I've decided I'm heading back in, I'm gonna try and prepare and store this fish as well as I can. So I'm gonna get out my good knife. I'm gonna gut it. I'm gonna try and get the gills out as well and put it on as much ice and as much cool as I can. So I'm gonna put him in the esky. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another one of my little fishing adventures. Very different setting compared to some of my recent videos today. We are actually heading out offshore kayak fishing. Very, very excited. It's been a long time since I've done any offshore kayak fishing. And we're just gonna make a day of it and see what we can catch. You can probably see just behind me there that the sun is about to start coming up. The sunrise is about to start happening soon. I've got out here nice and early to try and get a really hot early morning bite. That's the plan at least, but first of all, we have to try and locate some bait. Bait is the first step to catching good fish this morning, I reckon. Oh, actually, I did bring just a little bit of bait out with me this morning, and I'm very, very curious to see how it goes. It's actually calamari. This squid is all the way from Victoria. It had the Commodore Express up with myself, and we're gonna see how it fishes in a completely different state. Really excited to see how this goes. Hopefully we can get onto some good reef species with that squid. Just got on a little sabiki rig right here. So it's a little rig with heaps of tiny little hooks to hopefully catch some bait fish. So we'll drop that down. Saw a little bit of bait, not heaps though. Where's it gone? Keep moving. I wanna find bait thicker than that. It's not much down there. It was an interesting start to the morning. I launched and I saw the world's biggest garfish. Like there was a whole school of them. I'm not even kidding you, like they were that long. I've never seen garfish that big. Didn't even know they got that big. I tried to net a couple of them, but they're pretty quick. They dodged my net. Do not see any bait, eh? Oh, there we go. We got some bait. Yes, please be bait. It's been very, very scarce, the old bait this morning. Nope, that's not what we want. Not the bait we want. Since the yakkers aren't playing game yet, I'm actually gonna rig up a pat and oster rig and get down a couple of the squid baits. Very thankful I brought out some squid now. It doesn't seem to be any bait fish around at all. Did a little bit of preparation and tied this rig up last night, so it's a double hook pat and oster rig. Just gonna have two little bits of squid, two squid rings on it just like that. So that's the top hook done. Now we'll get the bottom bait on, thread that through, running 7.0 BKK circles. Just gonna pin it through the top just like that. Definitely not seeing too much life on the sounder, which is a little bit concerning, but you just never know until you get a bait down. So we'll drop this down, see if there's anything happening. Oh, I think we just had a hit on that rod there. Yep, definitely getting a little hit. It's a good sign. Ooh. Oh, we missed him. That was a good little hit. Yep, yep. I think we do have something on here. Doesn't feel extremely big, but first fish of the morning on the squid as well. Haven't even set up the plastics rod yet, and we've got our first fish of the morning. I wonder what it's gonna be. What are you gonna be? Is that a little snapper? It is. It's a tiny little snapper. Well, it's the right species, just the wrong size. Hopefully your mummy's around, mate. Cool little fish to start the day. Okay, let's rig up the plastics rod now. So I've got some seven inch centered jerk shads. I'm gonna rig one of these up on a probably half ounce jig head, sink it all the way down to the bottom. Fairly deep at the moment, so I wanna get down there relatively quick, but you also want that slowish sink as well. Just gonna cast that out, slowly let it sink to the bottom, and hopefully there's a big snapper waiting. Man, you'd think that fresh squid would just get demolished down there, but at the moment, it's very, very quiet. Oh, right there, look at that. There we go. Look at that. Just saw those fish, cast straight at them, and hooked one. No clue what it is. Probably, oh! Whoa! It's gotta be a longy. How awesome's that? <laughs> they just busted up right there, bang. Put a cast in them, and got one. That is awesome, that is sick. Woof. Taking a bit of line 
on that seven inch plastic. I just poof. <laughs> he is screaming a bit of line. Just pumped that plastic in there and he destroyed it straight away. That's a good start, man. The reef species seem to be a little bit quiet, but doesn't matter if we've hooked up to a tuna. Awesome stuff, eh? Awesome. Oh, they take a lot of line, these things. Ever since I've been out here this morning, they've just been busting up all around me, and I mean everywhere. There must be a lot of them out here at the moment. And we've hooked up to one. Yes, yes, yes. Whew. This is a bit of fun. Definitely a bit of fun. Look at that. Beautiful sunrise. And we are hooked up on our first trip back out offshore. This is good. Oh, these things fight so hard. Warriors, warriors of fish. That water's actually pretty green, eh? Very green water. Oh, there he is. I can see him all the way down there. He looks like a really nice fish as well. Yep, really, really nice fish. <laughs> Was that a bonito? Could be a bonito, eh? I think that's a bonito. Bonito. Man, how cool is that? Pretty sure that's a Bonito, and if it is, it is my first one ever. These things are little powerhouses. They fight until the very end. I was wondering what these fish were. I thought they might have been long-tailed tuna, because last time I was here, I got one, but it's one of these fellas. Let's get that hook out and send him off. Okay, we'll just spear him back. Hopefully he goes. Whoa. Is that another one right there? Well, a little bit of a detour from the snapper, but still, that's a really nice way to start the day with a little pelagic fish on that little plastic there. Very happy with him. Hopefully, there's actually some tuna around as well. There's a lot of fish. Look at that. Right behind the kayak. It's definitely a lot of activity. Just pedaling back up to the reef where I saw some really nice arches on the bottom when I was fighting that bonito. Going to do a few drifts through that area. Hopefully pick up a nice fish on the bait or ideally on the cast on the plastic as well. Look at that, another one right there. Another fish of some sort. Yep. Come on, please be yakkers. Please be yakkers. Come on. Come on, liveys. Liveys have been hard to come by. I think we got some. We do. We've found yakkers. <laughs> Hello, yakkers. So these are going to be our live baits, little yakkers. You can see that big rod, which is behind me there. I'm going to put one down on that. We've got three on that drop, so there could be more over there as well. Definitely some marks down there, so hopefully we can get a little bit more bait. Yep, already got one. Give it a few more jigs to see if we can get multiple on that string. He's a tiny one. All right, yakka, it is your very unlucky day. Going to get him up on a twin hook rig setup. Get one hook through the nose one through the back. That's gonna be the little setup. Make sure there's no scales on that little fella there. And that's our live yakka. Gonna be deployed now. All right, little yakka, see what you can do. I think we got something on here, something little. It's probably been on there for a while while we've been setting up. Wonder what this is. Tiny little head shakes. Definitely doesn't feel too big at all. What are you? Oh, that's a flounder. That's not what I was expecting. We got a flounder. I know he's either a sole or a flounder. Really cool look looking fish. There he is there. Cool little fella. See you, buddy. Get another bit of squid on the bottom hook. I'm actually going to put a live bait on the top hook of the paternoster. See which one goes. There's fish jumping right there. Right in front of us there, there's fish jumping. Just landed right in him. Yep. Oh, look at that, he just jumped. <laughs> that was cool. That was really cool. Swimming straight at me. Woo! Could be another one of those same fish which we hooked earlier. There are so many patches and schools of them out here. These things are super powerful fish. Awesome to hook on the light gear. Second good hook up of the day. I'm guessing it's going to be another one of those same Benito, which we hooked earlier. Is it? I think it is, yeah. Damn, they're a lot of fun, aren't they? 
there he is another little barrel <laughs> how's the colors on these little fish they have awesome coloration on them second one of these fellas for the morning spear him off see you buddy look at them all they're right here I could put another cast in and get another one I reckon look at them look at them they are everywhere in front of the kayak so many Benito Benito City Man, I'll be honest, it is pretty slow going. Like, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous morning, but the fishing is a little bit tough. Found a fair bit of bait now, but the liveys and the squid just aren't getting touched. Nothing. Oh, as I say that, something just happened there. Something just happened there. A little bite. Right as I say, nothing's happening. We get a bite. But it really has been quiet. It's been super, super quiet this morning. Apart from the Bonito, they're everywhere. Ooh, we got some on here. <laughs> this guy's probably been on here for half an hour. Just been watching him bounce away in the holder. Turns out the whole time he's been on. See what he is. Might be another little pinky or something, maybe. I think it is. Oh, and our... Oh, no, it's a tar... I think it's a tar wine or whatever it is. Tar wine, I don't know. Once again, our live has been destroyed. These things look awfully like a brim. It's like a brim slash snapper. A little bit of a hybrid type fish. Pretty sure it's a tar wine though. Something a little bit different. He took that squid bait. See ya buddy. It's definitely some fish in this area. Another very hefty little yakka. Send him down. Hopefully we upgrade on some of the fish size. They're getting picked to bits, but we just need one big fish to grab the livey. Ooh, something. Yep, something's on this livey. Oh, got off. Oh, no. I wonder what that was. Something just smacked this livey. Oh, we're on. We're on, on the other rod. Just trying to get another livey out. And we've got something on. That feels decent. Yes. We've hooked up to something decent. That live bait just got absolutely demolished. And about two minutes later, this other rod's just gone down. Definitely feels like a bit better fish. Oh, that's for sure. Got some good head shakes on this. Okay, we finally... Oh, did this get off? No. What is this going to be? A little snapper, maybe? Yeah, I think it is. It's a beautiful little snapper. Look at that. That could have been what hit our first one as well. Good snapper. Finally found some fish, huh? Bang. Nice little snapper. Hello, buddy. You might be coming home for a feed. He is not a bad little snapper by any means. It has taken some convincing today. It's been a very hard slog on the reef species front, but this is the first good one we've ticked off, and that livey just got smashed. I really wish that hooked up, but it's a good sign. It means there's some fish in the area. We're going to get another live bait on, get straight back down in that area because there could be more where he came from. Unfortunately for him, he's a grouse-eating size fish. I guess that answers our question if the Victorian squid catches fish up here in New South Wales, it sure does. A beautiful little snapper, and I reckon there's more where he came from. That other one we lost on the livey was a much better fish. Anyway, heading back over to that spot, gonna get two more pieces of squid down on that pattern osterig, and also gonna rig up another live bait. That live bait got destroyed, starting to run out of liveys though, so gonna be slightly conservative, just fish one, and then have this pattern oster just with baits. Some really good snapper marks down there. There we go. Yep. What is that? I don't know what that is. That could be a tailor or something. He grabbed it on the plastic. Oh, he actually feels pretty decent. First fish on the plastic apart from those Bonito. Keen to see what this is. He hit it right down near the bottom. The Trevally. The Trevor. Huh. That's pretty cool. Oh, there he goes. He got off. That was a Trevally, eh? Trevally on a big plastic. We got him. Something grabbed it. Yep. What is that? Weird, weird little head shakes on him. Whatever he is, he's definitely grabbed the squid or the yakka though. It honestly feels very, very similar to that trevally we just had on. It is a trevally. <sighs> Old Trevor. Little silver Trevor. Hmm. I was almost tempted to put him down as a live bait. 
Well, there's definitely a lot of multiple species down there. We've caught trevally, snapper, bonito, whole heap of different stuff down there. Cool. It's cool to see a lot of life. There's this one big bommy, a massive rock, which is down there. I'm just working my way around the outskirts of the rock. That's where I'm finding all these fish. Okay, let's try something very, very different. I've never vibed offshore before, so I'm going to put on this little Squid Trex vibe. We'll tie that on and see if we can get a fish on this. Looks really realistic, and I'm sure if there's any reef dwellers, they will smash it. On the way down. Yep. Got something when it was dropping down. That's pretty cool. That was second cast with the little squid tracks and we hooked up already. Oh, on the way down he grabbed that. I wonder what it is. Feels like it might be a little snapper actually. Let's see if we... Oh, there he goes. I can see him all the way down there. What is he? Yeah, a little snapper. It's really cool. Only a small one, but if the little ones are hitting it, the big ones will as well. On the drop. On the drop. See you, mate. I think that is going to wrap up my day out here offshore kayak fishing. Boy, felt good to be back out here and we caught a few nice fish while we're at it. Bit of a multi-species day, caught a whole heap of different stuff. But if you enjoyed this one and you want to see more like it, be sure to give it a like, comment your thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.